Hello. Today, I want to discuss with you about Yang Zemin. So, Yang Zemin has just passed away at 96 years old some days ago. And uh, he was really a super crucial Chinese politician. Of course, he, he was the, uh, the head of the state, uh, the head of the, 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 the Communist Party. Um, and he was behind, uh, like, three little, little facts, uh, three little um, events. First, 1989, Tiananmen Square. He's the guy who can be seen as a, a very liberal politician when it comes to economic, but he knew, and uh, you know, this is really across uh, the, the, the Chinese leadership, uh, the party, so the political power is always going to prevail over the economic forces. So on top of it, on top of the society, there is the Chinese party and then everything else is above. And, you know, for example, you can knock at uh, Jack's mask door uh, just to ask for a, a little opinion. So 1989, Tiananmen Square. Nine, 1997, um, Hong Kong. Hong Kong was uh, returned to China from um, UK, uh, Prince Charles was there, everybody was there, of course, Yan Zemin was there. And 2001, 11 December, 11 December. So what did happen? Uh, China entered the WTO, the World Trade Organization, and this has changed re radically everything. Um, yeah, American companies, uh, um, but even European companies uh, had uh, all of a sudden the incredible opportunity to really massively enter the Chinese market, uh, which um, was expected to be uh, gigantic, uh, and indeed it was. Uh, and on the, on the production side, uh, he could access uh, uh, a very large workforce uh, with super low, um, super low uh, wages uh, and essentially uh, no regulation to protect them. So it was, you know really great uh, for, the, for the companies, for the American and European companies. Um, then I don't know who could really say that benefited the most uh, out of this deal. Uh, for sure, China benefited a lot, really, really a lot. And they, they've done that in a very clever way. Um, they forced every single company, every single you know, Western company to join a Chinese branch, creating this joint venture um, with one target only, transfer the intellectual property, force the transfer of it. Um, then back in the day, uh, many argue that, yeah, it was pretty trivial to be, um, uh, to, 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 to see this progression uh, from a dictatorship to a democracy, of course, a Western democracy, because is there any other way to live on earth? Uh, but honestly speaking, uh, this is a very colonial, uh, colonial view. Um, it has been said the very same uh, um, regarding internet. So of course, the internet is going to disrupt everything. The Chinese party is going to collapse uh, and China is going to become a democracy. Yeah, of course. Um, then what else? China, uh, at a certain point, really started, right after uh, entering the WTO, really started purchasing uh, a bunch of US treasury, US debt. And the easy, um, the easy explanation, you know, the, the, the one that you might have heard uh, of it uh, is, yes, of course, China uh, um, owns uh, such an incredible amount of the US uh, treasury, so then they can really influence uh, the US politicians. Mm, no, not really. Of course, there is a little bit of power in the hands of the borrower over the, the issuer. Mm. But this is not really the case when you consider that US Treasury is nominated in, in US dollars. And US dollars uh, um, is just the world's currency. So when you are the, um, the empire, you just you know, want to uh, create uh, really tight um, dependencies on your uh, colonies, oh, sorry, um, allies, okay? Um, and, and that's why they, uh, the, the US has been, uh, over the last decades, essentially right after World War II, been, uh, taking so much benefits out of, uh, you know, printing a bunch of money without really experiencing inflation. Now, this tool, this uh, little, little toy is, uh, is about to be, uh, to be broken, possibly, we will see. But for sure, 
back in the day, 2001 uh, and so on, uh, it was such a great deal uh, for US to just, you know, um, drop off a bunch of US treasuries and Chinese were very happy to, to buy it. So as we said, it's not just about the power of the Chinese uh, over um, the US, uh, I don't know, Senate, uh, the, the, the Ministry of Treasury. Mm. Then it, it's also true that China wanted to keep uh, the renminbi, so their currency, uh, very depreciated, so super low, to, uh, to, to uh, foster the, the exports. True. But there is another view that is, in my opinion, the most important one. China has cleverly financed the military nonsense of the US in the Middle East. First, um, we, uh, um, uh, uh, Iraq and then um, uh, Afghanistan and everything that came uh, afterwards. Um, so, in such a way, China could really provide everything that the UN wanted to have to really start and be so involved in this war that for at least a couple of decades, China could benefit from uh, an incredible growth um, unsupervised. So nobody has barely noticed uh, the fact that the China in just a couple of decades uh, become a superpower, a global superpower, starting from not sometimes even having uh, the roads. Uh, just think of uh, what um, Shenzhen uh, was. So Shenzhen is the city right, uh, right over the, cross the, uh, the border of uh, Hong Kong. Um, so this is really what it's important. Uh, so I know that it's uh, geopolitics uh, tend to be very, very rude because uh, everybody, when it comes to 2001, honestly, and, and I am among those uh, things of 9-11, but from a geopolitical perspective, uh, it was no so important uh, like the uh, entering of China into the, into the WTO was because uh, really marked uh, um, an incredible, unbalanced, unchecked growth of, of China. And now US has understood, they have understood uh, that probably um, they took uh, not so seriously this, uh, this factor. And now 20, 20 plus more uh, years after they discovered that, oh, all of a sudden uh, there is a global superpower challenging their supremacy in, uh, in, in Pacific. Um, so we would see, um, but I just wanted to share with you this uh, another point uh, uh, over the over those facts. So, as usual, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.